On March 15, 1939, in Prague, Chas- Chaplin, Slovakia, Helga Weiss and her family were sitting by the radio at around 6 in the morning. The parents of Helga were a bit sad when they heard the German army had just crossed the border. Helga didn't understand what all of that meant at the time, but in her words, I felt something terrible in them. Helga and her family grew up in a small apartment. We weren't rich nor poor, but I grew up in a good home. She had a decent childhood, but after the German occupation, everything changed and became a lot more difficult for them. Since then, there wasn't a single calm day. Everything was our fault, even if we didn't do anything. We can't help being Jews. The Germans came up with bright yellow stars that said the word Jude. At school, she would talk with her friends about whose star was shown the best. Although they didn't like wearing the star, they made light of it. We got used to other things. We will get used to this. While everyone is getting ready for travel, the rest didn't stop. When you leave your home, you never know if you will return. December 4th, 1941. Helga and her parents were summoned for transport to their concentration camp at Terezin. She was only 12 years old when she was sent there. She and her family had to say goodbye to their home, family, and everything that was dear and close to us. They were told they were off to a new land to avoid persecution and that they would be taken care of. December 10th, 1941. They arrived at Terezin. Helga didn't think she was going to be there for too long, so she didn't really care about it, about anything around her. There were 21 people in her small room. If you haven't seen it with your own eyes, you wouldn't believe it. Terezin was built to hold 7,000 people, but during the war, 60,000 people lived there. Go. During her time there, she has to smuggle messages to her family. In December, children with the, their normal life built snowmen. She found a picture while she was there of children building a snowman. It reminded her of her past life outside of Terezin. Her first drawing in Terezin was smuggled to her father. Her father told her to draw what she sees. After that, she started to draw everything she sees in her everyday life there. She made around 100 drawings in Terezin, even though they were forbidden. Go. May 1942, Mother's Day. She was very upset because she couldn't give her mom a proper mother day, Mother's Day gift. She came up with the idea that she was going to make her mom a paper flower because that's the best she could do for now. In Terezin, Hitler deceives the world. They wanted to show the world that the Jews were staying, while once it was in, invited International Red Cross commissioned. Helga really hoped the Red Cross would come and see the situation was. She hoped that they would see the torture for them and something would, could be changed. When they checked the area, they found it all to be okay, so it was great propaganda. Transport was not only to Terezin, but from Terezin as well. Nobody knew where the people from Terezin were going. It was called the East Transport. I had no idea about the gas chambers, says Helga. 1944. Thousands of men were transported. They were told they were going to prepare a new city for the Jews. Instead of the new city, they were all sent to Auschwitz. October 1st, 1944. The first transport they sent out, 44 men, but the second one carried out her father. Here we sit today for the first time. We can hold back the tears. You've stored up too many of them this past week. She always wondered when her dad would let her volunteer to go with him. Two days after her dad left, she she was brought back to her mother. They hoped they would get to see their father again that day as well. A few days after, Helga and her mother stepped off the train and into the concentration camp at Auschwitz-Birkenau. We didn't know very well that it was a step into hell if it existed. It perhaps looks like Auschwitz. Over the seven months, Helga and her mother were sent to three different concentration camps. The food they received was not possible for them to live off. 1945, a Mathazen concentration camp. Her mother kept getting weaker by the day. Even at the end of the war was a week away, RN would come first. May 5th, 1945. For them, it was a little too late. They were glad it was over, but their first thoughts were what they survived and if their father was okay. Prague, May 21st, 1945. We left the camps, but we still carried the camps inside of us. They were told they were free and they could go home, but they were not expected to come back. After the war, Helga and her mother returned to their old apartment in Prague. Helga still lives there today at the age of 90. Most of the people that returned home had nobody, but Helga had her mother. Her mother passed away at the age of 84. They never really learned where the father passed away, but they assumed coming out of Auschwitz, he was directly sent to the chambers. 
Her father was very interested in music, and Helga married a musician, and her son is a professional musician, and so is her granddaughter.